Also joining us this morning from the West Virginia Hospital Association is the president and the CEO, Jim Kaufman. Jim, great to see you today. Thank you for the invite again, Susan. Yes, we've got lots to talk about here. So let's start off with how are our state's hospitals, do you think, growing our economy? Well, one of the things when you look at it, hospitals directly employ 53,000 West Virginians. Those caregivers are doing a lot to make their communities healthier. Mm -hmm. But then you also think about the economic benefit. The hospitals are providing $3.5 billion in direct wages and benefits, mm -hmm. $12 billion in economic opportunities in the state, purchasing food, supplies. So it's really their economic engines. Mm -hmm. And often they're the largest private employer in their community. Yeah, and you mentioned, you know, in addition to the jobs, you touched on community there. How do you feel like the hospitals are helping our local communities? I mean, a lot of hospitals think about the emergency room, the inpatient beds, but they don't think about the $1 billion in community benefit that we provide, mm -hmm. such as $100 million in community education, such as diabetes education. Right here in Huntington, I know Cabell Huntington Hospital does a cooking with cancer to help cancer patients learn how nutrition mm -hmm. plays a critical role in helping them during treatment. Mm -hmm. Something that uh, unfortunately we report on all the time in the news, shortages in just about any kind of field, but especially in health care. What is being done to uh, maybe fix this and keep health care workers in the state? That's a great question. I mean, we are ch challenged by the vacancies mm -hmm. that we have, but I have a good news, bad news scenario. Okay. Where we've actually seen our vacancy rates decline about 3.5 percent from 2022 to 2023, and that's because the hospitals were offering scholarships, tuition assistance, stipends for people where they're going to school, signing bonuses, trying to increase salaries as well. That's mm -hmm. the good news. The bad news is even with those efforts, we're still looking at a 10 percent vacancy rate in nursing, mm -hmm. respiratory therapy and other positions. Mm -hmm. How do you think that uh, the workforce issue is affecting the delivery system even? Well, you're seeing a lot of challenges across the board. You're going to see sometimes delays in getting you know, elective procedures scheduled. Okay. You may see people sitting in the emergency room waiting longer, but it's not just within the hospitals. We're also seeing the same challenges with EMS. There's mm -hmm. been a lot of stories about the challenges that EMS is also facing. Mm -hmm. So it's really impacting the entire delivery system, not just any one piece of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as we are nearing the end of the regular session of our West Virginia legislature, um, have you noticed any breakthroughs? Because I know there are a lot of health care issues that they're discussing. There is a lot of health care issues, and this is one I should thank the governor and the legislature for their support of hospitals and trying to give us the resources that we need so we can offer competitive salaries mm -hmm. to help retain and recruit those health care professionals. There's also legislation moving in the House today that's anti-doxing mm -hmm. to provide additional protections for health care workers and first responders from having their personal information released on the internet mm -hmm. unnecessarily as they're trying to do their jobs. And there's also legislation being considered in the House as well to continue a program that allows covered entities like hospitals, black lung clinics, community clinics from being able to buy certain outpatient pharmaceuticals from drug manufacturers at a cheaper rate that allows the hospitals and those entities to use those right. resources back in their community. A lot of issues that are going to affect really all of us. Uh, what's a good way you think for us to keep up with what our hospitals are doing? I think the biggest thing is because hospitals are doing so much unique for their communities, mm -hmm. visiting their individual website and looking at what they're doing in their community, as well as visiting the West Virginia Hospital Association's website. Mm -hmm. All right, and of course we'll be covering all the issues that come up in the legislature with the health care right here on WSAZ. Jim, thanks so much for stopping by and uh, talking with us. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah.